Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to see about how to create a digital clock in Flutter. So mainly, in uh, we are going to run it in uh, Flutter desktop environment. So without any delay, let's get started. So in pubspec.yaml, so I have added a two package here. Uh, one is a percent indicator and another one is a Google Fonts. So make sure that you have added in your pubspec.yaml. So and in, in your main dot dot, make sure that you have imported the so circle percent indicator package and as well as for Google Fonts. So after that, I'm gonna create a variable called indicator value for the, our percent indicator. And after that, I'm gonna create a timer here. And after that, I'll be having a function called, uh, I'll be returning a function string here. So uh, it will be re returned a current date time now. So for our clock. And after that, I'll be creating a function to update the value of the our person indicator value. So each time we have to update it. So here I've created a periodic method. So inside that, I'll be uh, like listening after one second continuously. And it will be uh, like uh, constantly updating the value of the indicator value. So then only the indicator value will be up updated to our uh, circular progress indicator. So after that, I have, I have called update second functions in our uh, initial in each state. So and after that, I have calculated the initial value of the indicator value too. And I have called the dispose method. I have disposed with our timer here. And uh, inside our build statement, uh, we have. I have used uh, one stack here. So inside the stack, uh, I have put a container for uh, uh, showing our time text. And after that, I will be di displaying the circular progress indicator with the, the indicator value that we have defined before. And now let's see the output of the code. So here it is running. It's building the application for our window. So yeah guys, so here it is, uh, our code is, uh, our application is running in our desktop platform. You can see it. So yeah guys, so this is how you can, uh, you can create a digital clock in our Flutter application and you can run it in our, uh, any, any environment. And I will also give the source code of this project in, in description. You can definitely check it out there. And that's all for the today's video guys, we'll see you in the next video, so stay tuned, bye.